Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Bot. Another round of our cigar talk and we are talking about barrel aged cigars. Stay tuned. So my friends, before I start just talking about barrel aged we're smoking a barrel aged. In this case, it's the Nicaragua barrel aged uh, made by our friends Camacho. Toro size. Talk a little about a little bit about this one, but let's get this thing started. Here, Nicaragua rum barrel aged <sighs> not talking so much about flavors of cigars and so on because that's not a it's not a review we're talking about barrel aged and i'm smoking this one just because i want to smoke one <laughs> So guys, barrel aged, get kind of popular. It first, well, at least I saw it first around 2015, uh, where Julio de Nicaragua was coming up with a special edition that was barrel aged. And after that, Other prints were doing it too. In fact, let me check my notes. Juega de Nicaragua, we serve a special, a special uh, Cuatro Cinco. I have to admit, never tried this one. But a lot of other barrel aged cigars. So before we start talking about what barrel aged is, we have a lot of barrel aged cigars. Some cigars have it already in their name, like here, the Nicaraguan barrel aged by Camacho. Camacho has also the American barrel aged, which was aged in bourbon casks. They have the distillery edition. So Camacho seems to like barrel aged cigars. Uh, other cigars don't have it in their name, like the Leon Jimenez, that here is an Exclusivo Alemania, so an exclusive edition for Germany. Nowhere on the band is it saying barrel aged, but when you're reading the description, it is barrel aged. Or just to name another one, that here uh, is the Sino Davidov barrel aged, was also a special edition, was coming out last year. Uh, but very big, other than Camacho, is Padomo. They have a lot of barrel aged cigars and they are coming uh, along with it in really nice boxes over here. I think they have three or four lines, uh, just barrel aged in different, with different tobaccos, with different sizes. Uh, that's great. And look over here, uh, each cigar in a single box inside of the box that's looking kind of cool also uh, it's a cardboard box but that's okay or other one uh, that also came out just recently is the vega fina uh, also coming in a very nice box look at these beauties they are also barrel aged but they even saying it they saying over here you see it in the rum barrel aged so we have a lot of cigars that are barrel aged but what does that mean exactly well since the name is already saying barrel aged we can assume the cigars are aged in barrels and that is <laughs> it's not totally wrong um, so what do they have all in common? 
all these cigars we were talking about and even all the other barrel aged cigars. It means that the tobacco, not the cigar, not the finished cigar, the tobacco where the cigars are made of are aged in different barrels. We already saw here with the Camacho and also with the Vega Fina I showed you, it's saying rum barrel aged. So that means that they've put the to they're putting the tobacco in a, a barrel that was used to um, age rum. So rum was in that barrel, now it's empty of course. <laughs> and uh, they're putting the, uh, the tobacco in there, the tobacco leaves. Some cigar makers are storing every single tobacco that is used in the cigar in the barrel. Others are just, for example, using the filler um, or uh, the binder or whatever, you know. So the difference we have in barrel aged cigars is what kind of barrel is used. We already know the rum. Another example I showed you was the Camacho American barrel aged and that one is the tobacco for, uh, that's used for this cigar is aged in bourbon barrels. Um, and they, of course they call it American barrel aged because bourbon is the American option for whiskey. Um, how long is it aged? Also different here. Some saying it already on the band or in the information, the American barrel aged or the Nicaragua rum barrel aged is aged for uh, six months. Uh, another example here also from Camacho, the distillery edition um, is aged six months. So I said something wrong. Five months for the American barrel aged and the Nicaraguan barrel age, I'm just smoking, six months for the distillery edition. What is the difference between all these Camachos over here? With the distillery edition, they were taking the first cigar out of their regular line. Uh, so that's, that's a Connecticut, that's a Camacho Connecticut, which was barrel aged. The Nicaragua barrel age and the American barrel age, they were like, not limited editions, but they were not part of the of their core products of their regular lines. So the distillery edition was the first one where they're taking just the Camacho Connecticut and putting the tobacco in barrels. That's it basically. So what is it doing with the cigar? A great misconception is a lot of people asking or talking about barrel aged cigars and they think they are kind of infused, uh, aromatized or dipped or whatever. That's not the case. There's a huge difference between uh, flavored cigars and barrel aged cigars. Um, with barrel aged cigars where just the tobacco is aged in barrels, they're taking very subtle the, the aroma and the flavors from the barrel because the wood that the barrel is made of contains still all the flavors from the rum or from the bourbon uh, that was in there and very subtle it's giving it out and handing it over to the to the um, to the tobacco leaves so you have a very subtle aroma of in this case of of rum or uh, in case of bourbon barrels uh, of, of, uh, of bourbon, of whiskey. And it's not like you're tasting the whiskey out of there or the rum, but you can taste the flavors that you can also find in rum or in, in bourbon. So for bourbon, you have this sweetness, you have this, this vanilla that's so bourbon typical. Uh, and depending on what rum you are using, uh, or what rum barrels you are using. You have a little bit of, of the flavors of that rum um, in the cigar, but just just a tiny aspect of it. It's, it's, it's more or less adding it up to all the other core flavors that a cigar has. So it gives us uh, 
a little bit more complexity, another type of flavor that usually is not there in the cigar. And that's, that's what it's making so great. Mm. But again, not infused, not aromatized, not dipped, nothing like this. There's a difference between barrel aged and flavored cigars. Um, there are a lot of colleagues who are doing episodes about flavored cigars. I'm really not into that. Uh, I tried a couple of flavored cigars, but for me, it's, it's just too much. Too much of that flavor. It's too dominant. It's too much in the foreground. I like it when the flavors are, are hidden or, or hiding behind the cigar flavors and they should not be the dominant aspect of a cigar. But guys, if you like flavored cigars, go and smoke flavored cigars. Nothing against that. It's just not my type of cigars that I like. Right, that's all that's all about the mystery of barrel aged cigars so most important points um, let's repeat that it's not infused not dipped not aromatized completely different not the cigars are aged in the barrels but the tobacco leaves are aged uh, in the barrel and mostly somewhere between five and six months. So that seems to be the typical uh, period uh, of time that the, the leaves need in order to absorb the aroma. Um, but there are a lot of, a lot of barrel aged cigars. I was showing you a few. Um, if you like them, let me know, put it in the comments. If you know other uh, barrel aged cigars that I did not mention, let me know. Uh, I would love to try them because I'm really into that barrel aged thing. And if not done already and if you like what we're doing, subscribe. Um, guys, that's about it. It was quick and dirty. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope you can enjoy a good cigar. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you around at Smoker Spot. Cheers.